green special tree you can see with the hump at the back of the ground it's gone so you have the trouble is you get grandkids up here and it goes it would kill somebody so that's got to come down those are okay over there they're actually all right I will go down and double check though but oh what a shame and we've got two dead I think which I'll show now that's fine he hasn't moved no, there's no ground movement you can see it's and that's a big oak so he's not going anywhere the rest I don't think not too sure about that one he's rubbing at the top as you can see that this damage you can see it just there right I think just there just gotta keep an eye on him doesn't like he's moved much though uh, we have another dead one over here by the look of it Quite live at the bottom. Well, you can see it's actually dead. You can see the holes in the bark. So it's woodpecker furrow. Find that, isn't it? And any more? Just keep looking. Oh, am I still filming? Sorry, right, that one. So it's woodpecker forage. Forage, forage, what do you call woodpecker? But whatever. You can see it looks got massive holes in it. All the way up there, look at that. So he's got to go. Um, this one will see the black. It's not looking the most healthiest, this one. Of all the trees I've got in the wood, which you do cherish and you plant and you do new stuff and you've got dead ones, you think, yeah, that'll come down in the storm, and it didn't. The ones that you didn't want to come down was this butte. Oh, witch hazel. I think it's witch hazel. But she was live and look at the size of that. Shame. What a shame. Never mind. I was trying to think, oh god, there's things so that's my boundary there. So we better clean it up because this is now going. Well no one's bought this top part of the wood. So it looks like I better come with my can or whatever and get a chainsaw and get this cleared up. Oh well, there's a YouTube vid in it. Right, I'll just show you that. Oh look at that. <laughs> okay, so there we go. What a shame. Never mind. Never mind that one there, which is as dead as a dodo, <laughs> still standing. Okay, I did end the video, but I just thought I'd show you that anyway. Okay, take care, and uh, we'll catch you again. Oh, I've got to take a picture of that for Janie. Okay, here's another one. Oh, that one doesn't look too good either. We thought we're planting new ones. What else have we got, Jane? We've got one here. This one's gone at the bottom. Yeah. That's gone. Uh, it's too dark now, isn't it? Well, that's fell over. 
What was there then? Well, it was a kid's den, wasn't it? Was there a tree there or not? No? What's this then? It was. No, this one's gone as well. It was dead. It's big in here. That's gone down. Look. Yeah, it is. You can see the root look. It's ripped out the ground. Yeah. Oh well. It all helped to build, build the kids. Yeah. Branch down there. Well, you don't realize what the difference you can do with the water, do you? Those big ones are all right, they're standing up strong they are. Hopefully. That's it, I think we're okay down here. snapped off so apart from that the big ends. I think there's bits of branches but yeah we're gonna have to I think. Got a couple with a few splits in like this. A bit worrying about them. Is he alright yeah? Not actually split is it? I don't know what it is. Or it's just growing, she's taken off it. Another one's safe. But you can tell he wasn't being held on by much. Whew. Oh well, it's gonna look a mess for a while, but we'll tidy it up. Whew. Just gonna make it safe for the granny kids. <laughs> granny kids. <laughs> right, we're gonna figure this out today. So we know it's not gonna fit on that, so I think. What I'm looking at is maybe just pop the top section on. I could do that by splitting it and then. Mm. So the idea is I got some wire snips with me, could cut up here, cut up there, and I could do that, couldn't I? Depends where they line up. If they line up in line with these, there and there. And there, will it be there? Okay, the only way to do this is to cut it because it's not going to work anyway. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, let's have a go. Okay, well, this is 12 99 this was, so off eBay. So I'm going to have to just. I uh, don't want to do it that way, but it won't fit anyway, so it's pointless me even mucking about. So, what I'm thinking of, right up like that. That one and what am I doing? Two. That's right, two. I know I can tell. I know you're good, aren't you? So if I do that, you see. Well, let's do this because it 
I'm already, I've done it now, so. That's my granddaughter's having a look down the camera. Right, it doesn't matter, but it's off skew. I'm not, I'm not going to put all that on. I just want to get up level to this part, and you'll see. And then I've got a choice then. I can jubilee clip it on, or I'm thinking maybe pot rivet it. Right, the only way we do that is by doing this. So we're going to. This would make a good, decent one. Yeah, don't touch them either because they're probably very sharp, alright? You can probably guess with the wind blowing, we've still got storm whatever it is with us. Is it Dennis? Is it Isla? Storm Dennis? Yeah. Right. What so what I'm thinking, I think I'm just doing that. I think I'm going to cut these off. Yeah. And just pot rivet it Wait. to that. Can you see that? Yeah. You're not allowed to cut the bits. Then I'm not. No. Oh, okay. Right. I'll put a link in the description down below where I got this from, and it was twelve ninety nine. Um, What I will do, I might send a message to the out, outbacker stove, just to say, like, you know, it's you get a lot of water ingress. Would you like to think, does that look good? Is that all right, like that? Yeah. Right, okay, I think that's what we'll do. We will do that. So... What's that for? It's, um, this is called a spark arrester and it stops loads of sparks shooting out. It just sort of slows them down a bit, then they die down. And then I presume that's what it's called, a spark arrester. But what happens is in grandpa's got his fixed and the rain comes down, hits this. Well, it doesn't hit this, it goes down here, runs all the way down here and then goes inside and then pours down the chimney. So hopefully this is gonna help. There we go. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. I suppose that way I can reuse the spark arrestor if I decide to take the um, because it's a portable a log burner I can at least take it off so I'll see how tight I can get this and what it feels like when it's on so and it's also leaves all the holes free okay we'll give that a tighten okay Whoa. I think that's tight enough. I'm going to get one more squeeze out of it. Oh, that's it. I mean, that's not going anywhere. The only thing I think is if the wind picks up, they might lift it. But I wouldn't have thought so. She's in by about two inches anyway. So, right, okay, we'll give that a go. Um, we'll have a look in a minute what it looks like. Come on, I let's go and fit it. A bit of wind, folks. Doesn't give up yet. This is the fourth or fifth day. I've got a beautiful. Oh, I'll show you the tree down in a minute. It's a witch hazel, and uh, she was really live, but such a shame. Don't get blown away. Right. Sorry. I'm going to do as well, I'm going to put a bit of wire, I'll show you. So these, um, it says like cut to 60 mil, which I've done, but maybe just the water might be getting in, so I'm going to lift it up a little bit. Sorry, you can see that. I'm going to drop, just to put a little bit of wire, just around here. A bit of wire just around there, which I brought with me, just to make sure that's secure as well. And then, so he fits on. Still gonna come. It's, not, it's not a complaint, I'm going to tell them that it's a bit of a bad, silly design, really. But, you know, because this is where some of the water's probably getting in. What do you reckon? Pretty cool. Right, I'll get a bit of wire on that and then we'll see, we'll see if that solves the problem as well.
you twist it, it's cut a bit off. Oh. Sorry about the wind. It'll be up here. Woo. I can't keep it still. Right here. I think. I think that'll do it, Jane. Yeah, well, you got the idea. I won't go too tight this time. Yeah, that'll do. That should do it. If I hinge it too tight, it splits. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the vid, just give it a thumbs up and a like. Helps the channel a lot. Take care, catch you next vid.